ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebbet 21X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Goss here, also known as Captain Creations, and yes, it's it's really happening. Today, I'll be starting a playthrough of Undertale. The classic classic ever memed game by Toby Fox. So yes, of course it was inevitable after I played Delta Room Chapter 2, and I will get back to that later, but for now, we're playing Undertale. Now, there's a little disclaimer. I have not played this game in a long time. Like, the last time I opened the game was in 2019, but that wasn't a full playthrough. So, apart from that, the last time I played this game was the first time I played this game. I've played Undertale through once before, and I've just been rolling from there. So, I'm, I'm gonna be possibly a little bit rusty, but Deltrune will keep me a little oiled, at the very least. And just to clarify further, before I've, I, before, I've only played the true pacifist route of Undertale, but I know how the genocide route goes. So what I'm going to do, do here for you today is I'm going to play the true pacifist route, and after I, fin after I finish the true pacifist route, if you guys sign off the comments enough that you want to see it, I will also play I will also play the genocide route. I've never played it before. So if you want to see that, you ha you'll have the entire series to get your word in. So without further ado, let's see here. So I think this is I think also this is the first time I've launched the game on this computer after my last computer died. I think this is a fresh install right here. Got your little basic instruction to start with. See your enter to confirm. X or shift to cancel. See your control for menu. Effort for full screen. I'm not gonna do that. Hold escape for quit and wage HP zero, you lose. Can I change my settings? It's just, the only setting is English language, okay. Right, I guess we'll begin the game then. Version 1.8. Copyright Toby Fox. Name the fallen human. Oh yeah, it's a very important choice here. Let's see here. What shall I name the fallen human? Complex question. You know, let's, let's go for an interesting name here. I will name... Well, no. I will name... No, wrong. I will name them... Zonai. <laughs> you can tell what I'm waiting for. Done. Name is correct? Yes. Zonai. And here we are. Small human child. In a patch of flowers. Can I check this? No. But here we are. Is this human child? This is who you play as. A shot that many people have seen by this point. Like how much do I need to explain Undertale? And how, my, how much has been memed up to this point? So let's, let's just go ahead. Just follow the path. Also, classic. I remember. I remember doing this the first time I played the game. It's like, how can you not do this? Is this a speed one trick as well? I'm not sure. Anyways. Here we hear. Hello there. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? God, some of these voices may kill me eventually. Golly, you must be so confused. 
someone I'm gonna teach you how things work around here. Is the volume balancing okay? I couldn't change the volume on the title screen. I guess little of me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. My ears are getting blasted out right now. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? I don't know, man. Don't worry, I'll share some with you. I don't know, I just met you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. No, I'm good, man. I just met you. Hey, buddy. Y you missed them. Let's try again, okay? I haven't... I don't know who you are, man. We gotta get to know each other a little more. It's a joke. Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets. Funny as pellets. He's taking a date first, man. You know what's going on here. Don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Maybe. Die! <laughs> Fire! I should have talked over a sound effect, actually. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Torio, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way, everyone's favorite goat mom. How can I? Let's see, stick and bandage. She has all the stats right here. Very familiar with playing Delta Room. Out right now. The music's certainly loud in my ears. Like, hold on. Let me just. Yes. Let me just adjust the volume. Actually, no. I'll let the rest of this episode play out and check it after. If it's too, too loud, I'll adjust it later. So, go over the stats. We'll go over those later. Ah, it's like more gentle. Let's follow the goat mom. And here is a very important object right here. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. Need to be fully restored. Here's your save points. Interact with these to save. The little yellow sparkles. 350 minutes so far. It's not counting the nature, I suppose. Can I check the leaves? No. There's a lot of red leaves around here. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. <laughs> the ruins are full of puzzles. Diversions and door keys. I started turning to a different voice right there. So the word puzzles has triggered it. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay, let's read a sign. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Basically, don't press the buttons in the middle. Well, I'm gonna press them anyways, because I love buttons. God is loud. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs, CIG. I already I just pressed to read it. I pressed Z to read that. That's a very accolade myself here. It's not tile based, you move freely. Stay on the path. You can tell me what to do. You're not billboard. The first switch is over on the wall. Can I walk around you? Nope, you you have formed an impenetrable barrier, Toriel. Okay, alright. What does the wall scribble say? Please press this switch, Toriel. Who is your hell that writes in, like, concrete brick and yellow? It's like some strong sharpie. I didn't make a noise. Go on, press the switch on the left. Please press this switch too, Toriel. You can't, you can't run like Delta Room. I'm gonna get used to that again. Try to press this switch. No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. Label, label for you. 
I don't want to press this one. Okay, okay, I should have said the same thing. Okay, alright. Loosh. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. <clears throat> Check it again. This switch doesn't even work. No. I thought I was going to say this would just paint it on. I suppose not. for the situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, struggle by friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. So I forgot how animatorial style of portrait is. She actually blinks. Which is weird. It's not that way in Delta Room. Practice talking to the dummy. Ideas for conversation topics? Well, I often start with a simple how do you do. You could ask them about their favorite books. The jokes would be useful for breaking the ice. Listen to this one. What did the skeleton tile his roof with? Shingles. I've got your number, Toriel. I've got your number. I swear I didn't remember that at all. That was top top of my head. Well, I thought it was amusing. Hello there. First battle, you encounter the dummy. Now, I'm not gonna showcase everything, but everything that happens in this game, but I will tell you about some things. So, you're supposed to you're supposed to act and talk to the dummy. If you just do nothing for a while, they'll eventually get bored and leave. I'm not gonna do that though, you can look up for another video. Let's check you first though. The dummy, attack zero, defense zero. A cotton heart and a button eye, you are the apple of my eye. It dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Let's have a chat. You talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much of a conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won. You're in zero XP and zero gold. Ah, very kind. Very kind. Oh, I can't check. There's no extra check to check. That's it. Okay. Right then. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. First random encounter, Froggit attacks you. It's light, this weird frog-esque monster, it's got like faces between its legs. He appears like... He appeared like twice in Delta Room so far, and what are he, where he's gonna amount to. Anyways, you can fight if you like, but you know, I'm not gonna do that. There is one time I fought someone, and I will tell you about that later. So, I'll just check you. Attack 4, defense 5. Life is difficult for this enemy. Death Clare. This uh, tutorial Death Clare is always great. It's like, view yourself, zoom in and out for a couple frames. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Okay. The Western Room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. Start talking. This is a puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. She's so protective; she'll do the puzzle for us. Yeah, the the, the, the path on the floor in the other half of the room shows you how to progress through here. That's what the puzzle is. <laughs> puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Okay, every time I say the word puzzles, I'm tempted to start. Doing a different voice. Yeah, you can do it yourself again, though. You just want to see how it is. Just follow the path that the floor and the other staff there are marked out. I'm sure, it's, it can mean that you don't get hurt if you just touch the sign of the spikes. You've done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. 
was merely behind his pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. Oh, okay, I, I, I miss out an interaction right there. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. It's dangerous to go alone, of course it is. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Why she has this, I have no idea. Why she has a spare cell phone hanging around. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Yep, okay. Just, just, we're only calling her because she has her only number. A couple of options here. Hello! It's this Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then. Hello! <laughs> it's a story. You want to say hello again? Salute, salutations. Is that enough? It's probably a lot of different, several different dialogues for doing the same thing several times. We just go to another option now. About ourselves. This is Torio. Or about herself, I guess. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there is not much to say. I'm just a silly old little lady who worries too much. Okay, now that, that one's gone. <clears throat> That's Fleur. Huh? Oh, hey. <laughs> How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find a better old woman, better than an old woman like me. Serious. I do not know if this is pathetic or endearing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that one's gone now, okay. Let's, let's just go over the friend zone route then. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me Mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me Mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Say hello again. I found out you would always. It's a story, Are you bored? I should have given a book to you. <laughs> My apologies. Why not use your imagination to divert yourself? Pretend you are a monarch. Rule over the leaf pile with a fist of iron. Can you do that for me? Back back in gym class, I used to be able to find a way to entertain myself by just staring at my fingers. Times get really that boring sometimes. Hello, my child. Sorry, I do not have much to say. It was nice to hear your voice, though. I can't wash everything here. Keep calling. It's is Toriel. Hello, my child. Sorry, I do not have much to say. Nice to hear your voice, though. I do believe something happens if you keep calling. It's is Toriel. Hello, my child. Sorry, I do not have much to say. Nice to hear your voice, though. Okay, maybe it doesn't happen yet, I just moved to the next room. So the interaction I missed is that the trigger for Toriel walking up behind the pillar is like just past the halfway point here. So if you check it before she leaves, she can you get a dialogue box. Di dialogue box? Dialogue box out of her. You're just dot dot dot. It's waiting for you to walk past her. <coughs> okay, well, hello. Oh yeah, there's Robert right, yeah. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Okay. I'll be good. Let's call her again. This is Toriel. Okay. In case she repeats herself. Does this thing happen now? Okay, no, it doesn't happen yet. Here's Froggit, though. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Cause like a mechanic, they're all familiar with. Oh, I forgot there's random encounters. In the battle theme, so I won't have to heard this. I use it randomly in a 
cut Pro 2 map ones, if you remember correctly. It's on my archive series, anyways. This time we can actually do the proper counter with Foggit. We can threaten or compliment, I believe both will work to the same result. Foggit didn't understand what you said, but I'm slightly angry. But well, just deeply. Okay. Now, first attack, Dodge. Things are reluctant to fight you. We'll spare you. We got two gold, we're rich. And then, up here, it says take one. They can use candy. People who have played SCBK and reached a new version more recently in my PTSD about this. I'll take one. We see over the menu. Take one. Take candy. No, I'm good. I have my candy right here. Crinkling and rather. I'll eat that later. <laughs> yeah, if you if you take too if you take too many candies, the bowl falls over and the game scolds you. You can do that if you want to get more items. And check this. Monster Candy. Heals 10 HP and has a distinct non-licorice flavor. Alright then. Now just save the game. Playfully crooking through the leaves fill you, fills you with determination. And tripping over my words already. HP fully restored. I think it's the last time I tell you HP restored. Because then after that you're supposed to not do what it happens. So now frog it. You can run if you like. If it works, you save a bit of time. However, it pays off to go through the battle. You can learn the battle. You learn the attack patterns. Also, you get more gold. You get to have for later. You can just save. Just hit the save point to restore HP. Got a Delta Room layout. Anyways, crack flooring. You know what that means? Ooh, except. Before the enemy will only crack where the cracks were, so that's a little unusual. It's a little puzzle, you gotta walk around. Or frog it. Okay, you got another attack. Nope, it's the same one. I think for the sake of time, I might cut out repeated encounters in the future, because unless it's unless I see a new attack, it'll just be the same thing as the first time I fight them. Spare you two more gold. How much we got now? Six. Hello, this is Torio. For no reason in particular, what do you prefer? Cinnamon, butterscotch. I don't remember. I don't recall if I've ever had butterscotch. I've had very little cinnamon. So, like cinnamon ones smell great. I want to have some. So, oh, let me see. Thank you very much. Click. Our phone call. Dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Click. Alright then. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Okay. Here's the first gray rock. Push on the switch. Oh. No, oh, Whimson, new enemy. Whimson approached meekly. Yeah, Whimson's already sp already sparable. Let's check you though. Attack 5 defense here. This monster is too sent him to fight. Does it avoid you? It's starting to spike lavender and moth bubbles. That might make you heal a little better. Halfway through your first word, wounds and burst into tears and runs away. Okay. Zero gold. Maybe you should have spared it. Alright, so that's rock number one. This puzzle, right? Let's see. Can I? Oh, nope. Let's see if I can remember the solution. Okay, it was clear. I missed it by one tile. In case you don't get it here, please don't step on the leaves. As you conclude this puzzle, let's look at the floor. Yeah, a pair of frogs hop towards you. I think some enemies do have different attacks if there are more than one. So let's see here. Come on, first frog. I think you're attacking double time. Okay. Oh, I this new note right here. Now, spare, spare at least one of them so there's less to do with. You're intimidated by Funko's raw strength. Right? Only kidding. What a sick burn. Dialogue box. There's a certain like fan fan theory that the narrator. 
Oh, let's see this. The dialogue text is a certain character that we'll see later. Maybe not. Maybe. I like that theory. Oh god, I ran right into that. I lost 4 HP. Let's get back to the puzzle. Let's get back to the point. Let's see. Well, I've forgotten the solution already. Some, imagine some people, like, just completely don't get this puzzle, and it's painful to watch them. Alright then. So, up here, go to the leaves, go down. I believe it says the same thing. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Yeah, I did. There you go, that's the puzzle. So, up here is the other thing. Don't go with me, your partner. Who said you could push me around? Mm -hmm. So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Yeah, that's not gonna do, buddy. Mm -hmm. You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Not quite right. Mm -hmm. That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. That's what I like it. Was that helpful? Yes, indeed. Whoop. Counter. Now, mold small and mold small. The first time I counter this guy, I get two of them. Seems to be like a living jelly. I can already spare both of them. I spare one. No, I just I spare one of them. Never mind that. Because we get to see more of him later. <clears throat> oh. Oh, apparently you only get to push a third guy. Okay. Whoop. But he tried to kill us. Excuse me. Want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Aren't things easier when you just ask? Yeah, you think that, but some people just don't ask. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, here we go, safe point. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Mouse Anyways. Boy, does it expand on the Delta Room. This cheese has been here for quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Go right then. So I'll cut it off right there. Next time, we we'll continue through the ruins. We'll try to find Torio. So until then, my name is Agus Gauss, some schedule creations, and I will see you then.